everyone. Nice to see you back again. Thanks for joining me. Now, you know, a little while ago, actually, was it a little while ago? It was the last video I did. It was about the dining room, and I said I was going to do it in a few weeks' time, and you know. Um, well, I'm not. I'm going to do it today. I've been itching to do it. I bought some additional items, and we're going to do this as a two part video. So, this morning, just going to go over the stuff I bought yesterday, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then if I can get this all done today, because I might have to again pop out, get a couple of other things from BQ maybe, but we'll see. Um, and then I'm gonna try and upload the other one this evening, if I can, and post it tonight. If not, it'll have to be tomorrow. But let's see how we go. So, went to Home Bargains yesterday. Um, we've got a nice big store, which is not long open near us. Um, late afternoon I went, so it was quite empty. And, um, I bought some things, so I'm gonna go over and show you what was bought. So um, grab yourself a drink. I've got a hot lemon this morning. And um, let's get the show on the road. So, home bargains. Um, I kind of compare home bargains to a bit like the range, I suppose, or Wilco's. Um, what's the other one? B&M? B&M. Um, that, that kind of thing. But I actually found that home bargains did some some good bargains, which their name says it all. So I'm just gonna show you these first, so which I've got for the garden, so I'm gonna get that bit out of the way and then we'll, we'll carry on. I've got these for the garden. They are so cute. They're stalks, and they're the solar, solar panel ones, solar lights, that what you call them? Oh, I think I fell apart. They're really tall, and I bought two of them I think they're really nice. They were £12.99 each. Um, do you know what? I don't even know if you have to put that reason. I'm not very good with stuff like this. But, oh no, it's not a stalk. I think it's a crane. Hang on. Metal crane. Metal crane solar light. Hang on. And I'll show you the label. If you want to pop in there. Move my fingers out of the way. There you go. Um, I bought two of these. I think they're really nice because we're obviously doing the garden as well, doing lots of projects in this house. Um, I bought them to go in between all the plants, so they're really nice, I like those. They have flamingos in there as well, but they're bright pink and I didn't really want to go with the pinky kind of colours. Um, too much, you know, too much pink garden ornaments, that's what I mean, not flowers. I'm just gonna put this down. Um, oh, I've just got a quick show you this. I'm gonna show you my bits, what I don't need for this video. Look at this, this is, we are babysitting my son's French Bulldog, Bruno. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll get him in and we'll try this on. <laughs> right, it's got a little bow tie. This was 99p. 99p, oh my God. Honestly, you can't go wrong with that. If you've got a little dog who wears a harness, I don't know how it goes on. Here, yeah. so you unclip it, put it round him. Oh, hang on. And obviously that goes round his neck, neck part like that. He's got such a fat neck. It's so chunky, I don't know if they even know that's gonna go round him. So I'm going to try that one in later on, and uh, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So now I bought this, now this was £8.99, and I've been looking, remember when I said before, that I want to add a centrepiece, and I've been looking for, for something and I didn't know what. So I come across this in there, this is like, like a metal, if you like, candlestick. Now, obviously, it's not the colour I want because I'm going for those golds and champagne colours, so I'm going to spray paint this. But this is the size I wanted. There's the top, obviously, where you put your candle, but I'm actually not going to put candle in there. Um, so I'm going to spray paint this, and I'm going to use this, hopefully, as my centrepiece. Um, I also bought to go with it. Now, actually, they didn't have many of these in there, but... Yeah, anyway, that I really liked it. I thought it was well worth it. And I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do with this. I also bought this in there, which is just a cylinder vase. Um, and that was 3 dollars So it, that's well worth the money. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll just show you the other label. There you go. Um, oh, let me just show you the bottom barcode of the candlestick. It says 40 centimetre metallic candlestick. And there's the label for that one. Okay? So, the idea is, oh, as I say, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do it or not, is I'm gonna glue this to this to make it one tall 
piece and to put it in the middle. But the problem is, when I showed you the that big floral arrangement, and I kind of think that's a bit too tall for this room, um, when I stand this in the middle, I'm leaning over this one a minute, let's move that away. Um, when I stand this in the middle, turn the camera around, it is kind of tall for this room, as you can see. So I'm, I'm toying with the idea. I think I've got to set it all up and see what it looks like. And if not, I mean, obviously I'm not going to glue this straight away because I need to see what it looks like first. So then I might just take this away, not use this, and just use this, um, and obviously put something on the top of it that way. So we'll see. But I actually thought that the two of these was a good bargain. You could even buy two of these, one of these, and make it as a floor stand. That would look absolutely beautiful. In fact, I might do that as well as another as another option, um, another addition, if you like. Um, going on to the theme, the champagne golds, which is what I want. So they had these little coasters in there. Um, I'll show you the like they're one ninety nine each for each pack. Again, I thought it's probably on par with maybe the range. They're not glass; they're just like foam back ones. Um, glitter coasters, four in a pack, but it's that champagne colour which I've been after. So I've got a couple of packets of those. They also do the matching placemats, as you can see. I put the price on there as well. Um, $3.99 and there's the barcode on the back of them. Can you see? Sorry. Oh. That's the barcode for them. I'll just put the barcode on the back of them for that one. I bought a square glass bars, it's $3.99 um, and I've got an idea for that. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that as well. Show you that later. Um, some little mirrors. Now I use these a lot for my crafts, and, I'll sh and I've mentioned this before, and I'm going to show you what I've done. So these are little tiny mirrors, and these are about 125 each. And I'll just show you the back, the label at the back. Can you see? Um, and I've got, I've bought about four of these. Um, I use these a lot, actually. This one has got chip in it, but you might not see that. So I bought a few, a few of those, and what I do then, this is a bigger scale, I make like little trays. So all that is, is that floral bling wrap, which I showed you before, what I got from Amazon, and I've literally just hot glued it to that. Um, you know, even if you put your candlestick, you know like the champagne ones I've got from, from the range, and you put them on there, just another little idea, perfect. Very pretty, so that's a, that's a cheap DIY. That, Mirror, I think, was from the range. Um, I think it was from the range, like 125, something like that. And the bling wrap, well, you get a big roll of it for like two or three quid, so that's like cheap to chip. Um, nice little addition. And also, what I do as well with some of my little pots, I've got these little tinny pots, glass pots. I've actually bought these from IKEA, uh, they were like 75p. A bit of bling wrap around there, and you know the roses I buy? Put them in the middle, and again, you could, if you wanted to, not on this particular one because it's too big and that's too small. But you stand it on there, make a feature, and you can make a whole little display with that. Perfect. Um, but obviously I wouldn't use this big candlestick holder with this little one because that's obviously too little, you need something bigger, or a small candlestick holder. But look how pretty they are. Just sit on the side, sit in your bathroom, sit on your windowsill in your kitchen, change the color scheme. You know, again, cheap as chips. Add like a little display. Um, we've got many options there with your little bits and pieces. So there were a couple of things which I could incorporate in here. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Now, I don't know if you remember when I did this DIY. I think I showed you the before, but I can't remember my brain's up much whether I showed you the after, which is this. This is the after. And I had it, it was black wrought iron. And I spray painted it with the rust oleum white gold, and I've literally gone and bought all the the crystals off of Amazon, and they were twenty pound. Now, a cheap way to do this, I wouldn't buy them off of there again because you know when I showed you the chandeliers, which were twelve ninety nine, something like that. 
from the range. That is far cheaper to buy that than it is to buy those string of crystals, I think. So I probably wouldn't go and, and buy these again. I would just go down the range and buy one at 12 99 Because I can use, if I took all this apart, I can use these hoops for another project. Um, so, but what I'm doing, like I showed you before, is I'm gonna make these into mini chandeliers. So they're obviously going on this table. So now, with going back to this one, I might take all these crystals off and I bought another one in the range. This was $14.99. I'm taking out all the plastics. Again, perfect for a project. £15, loads of crystals on there. I'll show you the box. It was from the range as well. Just turn the camera around a bit so you can see me. It was from the range as well. And this is the box. Uh, do you know what? I can't even remember if I told you this in my previous video. So anyway, there's the box and it's 14 99 So you can see there's a hell of a lot of crystals on there for, for, and they're already rigged up. Um, so I really like that. So I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna see what it looks like if I put it over the top of that. And I might have this as my centerpiece. Um, these are all ideas what I've got floating about. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway. So for the walls, what I've bought in there, now these were 2 99 each. Now these are canvases. So if you're a painter, I'm not, but I'm gonna give it a go for in here. I'm just gonna put one in here. Um, these canvases are 50 by 60 centimeters. All right, there's the label, nearly not so the bottle. There's the label there, so you can see and they were 2 99 each. Now, in the range, because I looked at these, um, they obviously had different sizes. Their range was not as cheap as this for this size. I'm sure they was more than a five, they were something like 7 99 or 6 99 So when I worked out, I wanted three of them, so I wanted like one, two, three, in a row across width ways. Um, yeah, they were working at something like, around about 25, 30 quid, and these were 2 99 each. So, for a first project for me, which I've never done a painting before, this is this is perfect. So if it doesn't come out very good, I've only spent nine quid on these canvases. And if it don't come out very good, I can just spray paint over or, or do something else with it. And if not, I'll take all the canvas off and just use the frame for another project. So it's for me, this is you know a win-win thing. I'm not gonna lose out on that because I'll be using. Um, so the idea is in a minute, I'm going to show you, I'll turn the camera around so we can have a look, it's going to go on, they're going to go on this wall over, over this side. Um, another thing I do in a minute as well is, oh my god, I do, honestly I do random things. So I took Bruno out for a walk the other day and in someone's front garden was an old wooden chair. And I, would not, I thought, I just, just don't want to take it because I'm pretty sure this person's left it there for someone to pick up. So I knocked on the lady's door and she said, no, you can have it, I've left it out to, to dump it a proper old wooden chair. So I took a little video of that um, and when I get to do that one, I'll, I'll obviously show you what the chair looked like before and I'm gonna try and re-upholster that as well, which I've never done before again. So I'm gonna do that. But in home bargains, I bought a staple gun. And that staple gun, I think it was 5 99 I don't know, I only use it, but, my, but Sean does, so I'm gonna get him to look at it for me. So. I'm going to order the foam, the fabric, um, and that's going to be my, one of my next DIY projects, will be my tech my hallway. So I'm going to do a room at a time. So I think that's it, guys. But let's just quickly do a quick tour of this room so you can see. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Here we go. So this is obviously the side. Now on this side here, obviously I've got my garden, I've got side access, so I've got a fence there. And I don't like having the blind open because there's nothing to look at, it's just a, just a, someone else's house next door, my neighbours. And then I've obviously got this big window here, which is the front. And then I come round, and then as you can see, we've got quite high ceilings. I've literally got spotlights on there, on the ceilings. Um, but I'd like a chandelier light, but I can't show sure my do it, so I'll have to leave it as it is. In here are my chandeliers, but these are going up on the landing. Um, so as you can see, it's not a huge room. 
This mirror I'm gonna leave up there because it's so heavy to take it off. So we're just gonna leave that. Um, and actually it looks fine because it's silver anyway. But saying that, I might spray paint that rust -oleum white gold. And there's obviously the dining room table. So this is where we are at the moment. We've got another project down there. We've just got going the wall, which I showed you previous, which is this one. Um, and this one, I'm going to recycle this as well. So there we are. So let's flip the camera back. Keep tuned. Look out for the next one because I'm really hoping that this will be done by the end of the day. But we, as I say, we probably won't be able to put the, the, the pictures up or um, the mirrors up what I want up there. Um, but I just want to do the table just to to show you what it looks like at, at the end result. Um, so yeah, there we are. Oh, I know what I was going to show. I was going to show you Bruno on that on that little harness, but we'll do, we'll do that later. Anyway, so stay tuned, and I'll see you a bit later. All right. Bye for now. Just on the end. Here he is. This is Bruno's, and we're going to try and put this little harness on him, right? Let's see, hold on a sec. Okay, so this is the little harness for Bruno. Hey, Bruce. Let's see if we can get it on him. Right, let's see, are you gonna let me put this on you? What is it? Hang on. I know. Right, ready? All right, sit down then. Come here. This is gonna be a challenge. How does this go on him? Right. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get this over your head. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Right, sit down. Don't sit down. Uh, do we do this, like this? Oh no, he's got too big a head. Look at him, fat boy. Put in there. Are you snoring? This just about goes over your head. How do we tighten this up? Oh! A minute. Oh! Let's have <laughs> oh. oh! You are a Teletubby. Honestly. I'm Look at him. Show. Sit down then. Show everyone. Sit down. Bruce, sit down. Sit down. Sit down, sit. All right, sit. 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 Notice how he's very obedient. Turn around, come here. Right, sit down, sit down. Sit, good boy. <laughs> look, at, look at the camera. <laughs> you are a funny little thing, you are. You've got your bow tie. Say, hello. 